Did you know? Falconry has been around for quite some time, and there is evidence suggesting that the art of falconry may have begun in Mesopotamia. The earliest accounts date back to approximately 2000 BC. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. Nina likes to talk before she goes out. After Grace, the red-tailed hawk does her thing, it's time for the Harris Hawks to show what they've got. Pat and Michael Moreland are flying Nina and Sting, and they're hunting for rabbits. But there's a new member of the Harris Hawk hunting team, and she doesn't have wings. I put on her tracking collar. This is Maya, a young Jack Russell Terrier who's on her second season of hawking. She'll go into the briars, kind of serves as a uh, you know, better brush beater than us. She, she has a nose, so she'll find them, and then now the birds will um, follow her, and when she starts, you'll hear, hopefully, she, if she gets a rabbit and she's on one that's hot, it'll, you'll start hearing her um, make these like yipping noise, and the bird will actually fly right over top of them. She was just a little puppy when we first got her, so we let her get worked in with the birds and stuff like that, and then, um, and then as slowly brought her to the, to the, um, the basically smelling rabbit scent and all that, um, dragging dead rabbits for her after we killed a couple with the birds. And then, uh, like I said, last year was her first full season, and this year she's uh, turning on. So she's still learning, but she's doing well. Being that Maya is just a little bigger than the rabbits they are after, is there any worry for her safety? My dad's bird is nine years old that we've always flown, Sting. Uh, he's not very patient with the dog. He doesn't really, if the dog gets close to him, he'll grab her. Um, but if my bird, my bird will lay, uh, lay basically on top of the dog, just sit right on top of the dog and won't even have a problem. So she, uh, she, you know, it's just a different personality. The birds are ready and so is Maya. And now it's time to hit the hedgerow to hopefully flush out some rabbits. The brush is thick, but that does not slow Maya down one bit. And the hawks, well, they've always got their eyes peeled for movement. Find them, Maya, find them. Looks and sounds like she's on to something, but it's probably just a squirrel. At least we get an idea of how determined Maya is. Come on, let's go. Maya, over here, over here. Find the rabbits over here. Finally, she gets back on the trail, and after a few more steps of brush beating, Get in my find him. Oh! 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 <laughs> Maya starts the chase and Nina swoops down for the finish. Corner. As soon as Maya went up into that tree and joined around, I saw her take off. <laughs> Just let everyone calm down a little bit. Maya did good. She pushed it right out of the out of the brush like she's supposed to. I saw it. I saw it run right by you all, right? All right. Now we'll give Nina a little treat, and then we'll uh, keep moving. Well, when, I, when I ran over the hill, I was expecting Maya to be in it, but Maya's just standing back looking like, yep, I'm good. <laughs> Maya's ready to get back on the trail, and she doesn't have to go far to find the next one. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow, he came back. Oh. Oh, wow. Go. Unfortunately, for video purposes, the rabbit ran the wrong way, and boy, did that happen fast. That's how it works sometimes. Or you're out here for two hours and never. I jumped it, and she uh, just chased it. And uh, Nina's on her A game today, making good shots. Showing no signs of slowing down, Maya gets back in the brush, occasionally getting a scent but no more rabbits to chase down. She was able to find a couple, and uh, the birds did their job, so that worked out, and Maya did her job. She's a tough dog, she loves to hunt. This is what she loves to do. So, as you can see, all she's doing is trying to pay attention to what's going on over there. <laughs> a dog that loves to hunt alongside some birds that also love to hunt. That sounds like an unbeatable combination. It's just another, adds another element, uh, like another person pushing brush. Um, it's a lot of fun to work, see how the dog works and uh, with the birds and how the birds work with the dog. We'll say for the rest of my career, I'll always have a dog. So it's, it's cool, it's a cool element. We think it's safe to say when the triple threat of two Harris Hawks and a Jack Russell Terrier arrive on the scene, the rabbits had best take cover. 
Coming up next, it's the last day of duck season and these two active duty members of the military are being treated to a hunt. 